Good morning, sweet friends, afternoon or night, wherever you are watching. My name is Jenny Lee. Welcome to my channel. This is Complete Creations, where I am the owner and operator of all things and maker of all things here on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Today we are doing part two of the candy cane tumbler, where we are doing a drip on it and sprinkles. So I hope you guys enjoy that. We're going to look at some items that I had gotten. The top uh, candy corn and pumpkins are going to be for a topper. So we will have a part three to this as I did not get that completed to go out with this video as it has been a busy week. But let's get this cleaned up and let's get started. All right, now we are going to start with our tulip uh, white matte puffy paint I guess you would call this um, I enjoy using this I love how it gives like a 3d effect and it isn't really flat you can use an array of items to make this you can use epoxy and cornstarch you can use epoxy and a thickener from culture of uh, what is it called um, counterculture uh, there are many ways that you can make a drip for this. You can use uh, glue. You can. There's so many ways. I prefer to use it this way. I love how my drips look as long as I don't bump into them as I'm making them. Um, but this turned out stunning. Now, this should have been out Tuesday. It is Wednesday morning as I do this voiceover and it's going to go out right after this. It could have went out, but I decided to go over the tumbler once it had gotten its first cup of uh, coat of epoxy um, after it this had dried I decided to go over this with a UV resin um, to really just get it really really secure the sprinkles on good um, so you won't see that but you will see me doing the second um, round of epoxy after I do the UV resin. Now, after we get just a lot of layers put around the top, I'm just gonna bang it on the table a few times. The um, puffy paint is gonna run down the sides and we are going to add sprinkles. I use the white and the yellow and the orange for this. I was going to put some of the candy pieces on here, but I just felt it was too much, so I decided to just stick with the sprinkles and then make a topper. So there will be a part three to this next week added into next week's video. So I hope you will enjoy these videos and come back and see how this finally looks finished as we are almost done. Now I could let it go as is, but I really want to make a topper for it. So we're going to add these sprinkles all over. I sped this up. This was a very long process but I just, I left everything in and I sped it up so you could see how I do this. There's no rhyme or reason. I literally just make sure um, the sprinkles are all over. Um, using the tweezer is a lot easier for me to make sure that like, you know, my fingers aren't, well, first of all, I don't wanna put my fingers in that, but um, there it is and it looks gorgeous. I love how this has turned out so far. I think it is going to be a stunner when this topper is finished. Now, obviously it looks pretty dull. Obviously we don't have our first coat of epoxy on it, but we're gonna get there. So this is how it looks. The drips are stunning. I love how it turned out. The sprinkles are adorable and let's get our first coat of epoxy on this. You will see as I start mixing, it turns cloudy. It is going to do that. And you want to make sure that you are stirring for at least five to seven minutes for each pot of epoxy that you make. The more epoxy that you make in a cup um, or a bucket, you're gonna wanna stir for a lot longer. Um, I think that if you stir slower, you will cause less bubbles. Um, and I try to always keep my stick in the bottom of the pot as I'm stirring and stirring around the edges until we get this clear. Now, when I start epoxying towards the top, 
where the sprinkles and stuff are. I'm not too concerned with anything moving because it is dried and set, but you want to go really slow. And you also want to make sure that in between your um, drip lines that the epoxy doesn't puddle up. You don't want big globs in between the epoxy. So you want to make sure that you're getting each and every little area. You want to make sure that you are, uh, you know, making sure it is an evenly, you know, evenly placed epoxy all over this. Um, and you see me even going in with a brush just to make sure that I'm not leaving behind like globs of it somewhere or in between the sprinkles and that it's really a nice layer over all of this. Now, obviously the brush won't be good afterwards, but that's okay because as long as I get the details showing in my, you know, cup how I want it, it is so much easier to just do it the right way the first time make sure you're doing a light easy layer and always go back over it now i made way too much epoxy for this cup i made 30 mls and i probably used 15 one here and now i am showing you this is after the first coat of epoxy and we have used our um uv resin i've already put the uv resin on here and have cured that and now i'm gonna go in with a, another pot of i made um i think 20 mls of this and i also added crushed crystals to it to give it an extra little pizzazz so that when it dries where the white is it's just a little shimmery but guys look at the stunningness of that glitter i mean it's literally stunning already now there's the crushed crystals i absolutely love those we're gonna add we added i think i already did yeah so i've already added it into there and have um let the epoxy sit for a second you'll see there's some bubbles what i do is i let my epoxy sit for a second and then i take some heat and i just kill all the bubbles on top um and then that way i when i add it it's less bubbles being added to it I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom as I normally do, working my way up. And yeah, this shimmer in this epoxy is absolutely stunning, you guys. This cup is gorgeous. I am loving it so much that I don't want to sell it, but it's going to be listed soon over on Facebook. So if you are interested in being the owner of this cup, head over there. If you would like a topper added to this cup, you can have the one that will be made for it, or you can have a regular lid for this tumbler. I always give the option because some people don't want a topper to, um, you know, a fancy topper on them. And they do cost a little more when you get those. So I understand um, if someone would rather have a regular lid. So I'm down with that and we'll be making more of these. Also, I'm so excited to bring you guys so many new Halloween tumblers that I just haven't done yet and have loved seeing others do or coming up with some of my own. We are going to be doing a black flame tumbler next and I hope you guys will be around for that. We'll be using some glue sticks to make drips of the wax candle and adding some glow powder to them. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I have coming for the fall. We have so many more tumblers to come. We have so many more events to do and I'm excited to bring you guys with me to show you how I do what I do for my small business and share all my tips and tricks with you guys. I don't like to hide anything. I think it's important that we all share our skills so that the person maybe that doesn't know something will learn how to do it and be better because they took your information and made it work for them. So don't be scared to share your tips and tricks. It is not going to make you a better creator or crafter because you don't share your tips and tricks. It's actually really ugly of people that do that. And, you know, communities come together when you can all share your tips and tricks and share them with each other. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to wrap this one up and I'm going to show you what it looks like all finished. I don't really think you can see the crystal effect on the white, but you're going to see that in just a second. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for always watching and being here and being a part of my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.